need it to be about that long. So you come down to something around there. See, that line, not that one. There's one dog. Now, the other dog. Clamp it down. <laughs> Taller than dull. Let's try going with the grain. Just has to be parallel with the other side and the same thickness. The middle should be somewhere around there. I draw that. Now that gives me the total length of the board. Well, I, I gotta stop right here for a second. Uh, if you have any questions about what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, and the reasons behind it, I have a whole second channel where I have a how-to video on that. If there's a video on this channel, then there's a corresponding video on the other channel where I'm actually talking through and doing teaching. All of the teaching is done over there, three videos a week. This one is more for the easy watching people. So if you like that, uh, there's links to it down below. You know what to do. So let's get back to the build. match that outside line. This is where it'd be nice to have a donkey ear. that angle and this one goes in that angle so that's my pattern and I need eight of these I think for the rest of them I'm gonna do the dovetails first and then run the grooves 
Originally I was going to do them all out of the stick, but I want to make the 45s matching. So if I can't go all the way along, I'll be doing the inside of one and the outside of the other. So I have to do them all individually. And then I've got to make eight sets of dovetails. This thing's going to be really tedious. That's what I like. Nicky Nick. Grab the square. up towards the top of the box. So there's one depth. Establish the kerf. Give it a little bit of lean. Let's do the same thing over here then. Establish the kerf. Set the angle I want. Go to town. Slide them down in. A little farther. Clamps them together. And that makes the transferring a lot easier. Little gappy. That's okay. A little darker than that. So we're going to mix in just a little bit of black. Not that little. That's a little more than I wanted, but we'll see what it comes out with. 
Yeah, that's a little more red, a little more black than I wanted. It's a purple. Tales of the Dove. <laughs> yeah, let's put this thing together. Two pieces of protection. Shark. Hey, look at that. that way, but before I do that, I need to make sure this fits into here, and then hey! Half a box! Making sure they're the same. One. Push it all together. So we're going to do one and one. better to take it off of yeah there's where we went ready oh no need a little more yep. okay now let's do a little gluing just going to do dab 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 to one Just like that. 
that that's what it should be. Uh -huh, uh -huh. We like it. So the problem is here I have to plane this way and from here I have to plane this way so I can only plane into the middle or then do something kind of like a 45 degree and hope I don't bust it out. But just kind of play with it. And of course out of all the sides I shoot, I shoot the one where I really messed up big. But, uh, there, that'll get me close enough. Pencil means stay away from the line. Stay a long, long ways away from the line. Ooh. That length, just a good bit longer than it needs to be. Sweet pungent. Be this one overhanging that one. So one goes in there. Three goes in here. Oh, it's glued. Let's go with the grain rather than against the grain. So I want it more than that. Let's come into like there. I don't want to cut it. I think that's it. I'm probably missing some spot. Yeah, missing some spot over here. Ta-da! Just like it's supposed to. Come off of it. Maybe I should have taken these off before gluing it up. So we are 3.15. That deep. Tighten that down. A 
is not deep enough. Close, but not quite. See, that's what I want right there. Nice and flush. Now, I've got to get that thing out. And three. Now I need to find, where's my matching side? So this goes on there. So that means on this one, I need to go one, two, one, one. Tink and patink. So then we can epoxy up these and then flip it over into that. Sure, all my measurements are right because they probably weren't. But yeah, that one's in, that one's in, and that one's in. Hey, look at that. So, what am I gonna do with this? Oh yeah, homemade boiled linseed oil. <laughs> What do we need in here? First off in the bottom, big gauze, smaller gauze, big band-aids, alcohol and antibiotic wipes, and of course lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of little band-aids for all those tiny little necks. Then some tape and of course tongue depressors. And it goes right there. So whenever I need it, take it, use it, Quick and easy access. Some look good, and some really don't. Now there you go. This was a lot of fun for me to put together. Now, if you haven't noticed by now from the Wood by Right channel, I like to learn by jumping at the deep end. The, the, the smart way, the, the common way to do it would be to actually make this out of a cheap wood first and get used to making all of the dovetails. I've done angled dovetails to do it before, but usually they're only splayed by a few degrees. And those are relatively similar in comparison to regular dovetails. These took a little bit more of getting used to because the greater that angle is, the harder it is to get that exact measurement. And having these was a good bit of a challenge. The first ones that came out were really, really bad, but by the 
end, they're really, really good. And so I had to do that eight times. Well, I, I could have learned that by practicing on other things, but I prefer to learn by jumping in and doing it and having a lot of fun with it. Trying out different things like putting a band around where the grooves are at, um, leaving these top ones open. I just, I love the look of this. I am really, really, really happy with this. Is it perfect? No. Is it perfection? No. Is it a masterpiece? No. But I really like the gaps and the imperfections and the spacing on it that said, I made this, and this is my first project to try doing that. It is a great way to learn, experiment. Yeah, I've learned a lot of other skills that bring into this, but every time you find yourself in the deep end in places where you just haven't done it before, then go ahead and do it. Because you're never going to learn until you do it. So have some fun. And make something that, yeah, it has imperfections. It's not perfect, but oh well. It speaks about the person who made it and the time you put into it and the fun you had. So I hope you like this. On top of all that, I do have a second channel called Wood by Write How To. On there, I actually go through this whole thing step by step and I talk through what I'm doing and why I'm doing it and the experiment that I'm learning and the other things that come into it, the lessons learned in the project. That whole second channel is where I do all of the teaching now. This is more for the easy watching and for those who just like to sit back and watch a video and have probably stopped watching by now. So if you're still watching, then you might like the second channel. <laughs> so on top of that, I want to say thank you to everyone who is uh, commenting down below, hitting like, share, subscribe. Those things really do help out the channel and get us in front of more people. Also, there's a whole bunch of people scrolling over here on the side. They are the patrons on Patreon. Without patrons and members, people who've clicked that little join button down below, this channel wouldn't exist. We are completely funded by you, the viewer. So thank you for that. If you would like to help out with that, you can find out more about Patreon in the description down below or click the little join button and become a member here on YouTube. We do have special perks for both. So I think that'll do it for now. And until next time, have a wonderful day. Sounds like a great Roman emperor, Octavius Dovetail.